What's going on guys and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. We are pushing on with some more side quests because obviously we've been doing these more story arcs. Uh, and then we're going to jump back onto a few of the main missions. Uh, but hopefully having a good morning, afternoon or evening. We are currently... Um, we've just found out Brendan is missing. So we do have that side mission to do as well. But I want to go to the Pirellises. Pirellises. The two politicians. Um, but remember, I'm still doing the marathon stream as well. And hence the reason you can see chat just below me. Um, also, I just had a phone call just before I did the introduction from Nancy, who we've been waiting for regarding the the gig for um, the samurai, for Johnny's band. Uh, so we're going to go give her a call back and see what she has to say. Gigs all set up super sweet like tonight at the Red Dirt. Talk to Carrie? Didn't change his mind or anything? No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. Haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Still not on board? <sighs> Didn't even try. Not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Well, so, see you tonight. And don't worry about your axe. Got the gear all rounded up. All right, so let's actually go and do that. Go to the red dirt. Wait, my controller is not. Come on. There it is. All right, so let's go to the red dirt and do this gig before we go to do the paralysis. Uh, whatever them two politicians want. So let's head over to the red dirt and then we got to wait until the evening. Right, so... Is this where we're doing the gig? I think it is. There's already some fans and some groupies outside. I wonder how they're going to act to me covering it instead of obviously Johnny. Kind of. This could be interesting. Hello. It's me. No one. This job. Sometimes it's hurry up and wait. Oh, yeah, I've got to wait till the evening, haven't I? Let's wait outside with everybody else, I guess. Red Dirt is in the place at Miranda. No, no. You're not used to driving on the oranges. <laughs> the thing is, Cyberpunk's driving system, there's something about it. Like, I'm good at driving games, but there's something about the... Because like, they've, they've done some work with like, the physics and stuff, but the responsiveness is not there. And it's just something I definitely need to get used to. Hey, V. V. Got something for you. I don't know if you know, but once upon a time, mm. this was Silverhands. Yeah, Fox, I'm used to Nets, like just them driving done. and um, she just Forza and stuff. Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. Hey, thanks for putting the gig together. Please, Carrie couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. <laughs> Worse. At least Carrie did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. How about you tell me what happened with Henry? Ancient history. If oh, falling yeah. into all sorts of crap, then I'd have to dig him out. You got tired of getting your hands dirty all the time. All wrong. Managed to get him a gig with a decent band. Henry quit using, got his shit together. Things were going great, so he booted me out of his life. What happened next? You get off on this sort of drama? He ditched me. Partied with his new pals for a month. Then they tossed him out because he started acting up again. Ran into him on the street. Total mess. Gonk even fainted for effect. A tug at my heartstrings. What did you do? Left him right there and made damn sure he couldn't find me again. How you feeling, the head of the show? Weird. Like, I'm about to pretend to be myself. <laughs> Plus, 
Johnny's out. Never thought I'd say I missed the bastard, but I damn well do. Where's Carrie? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true, because there won't be a dress rehearsal. Right. Can't let that full house down. Honestly, got no idea who these people are. Just strays. Carrie didn't want word to get around. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. You think the media caught wind of this? For sure. Hyenas. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? He any good. He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. Pill time. Just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again? Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big night. Got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with him. Well, she's right. All right. Let's take the pill. Let Johnny take over. Ready to thrash? Have fun. Here we go. Bloody go! Carries you. Cutthroat. Hey, big fan, huge fan. You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed of. <laughs> He's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shaking under control. I think my shakes are the same. Or worse. Crowd got you stressed, or is it me? Fuck you. I missed you too. Let's do this.
Yeah, I was kind of sick. I was cool. This is fucked up. What is? Actually, uh, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove. To myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. Want to do it again? Huh? No. That was enough. In that case, here. Take it. As a souvenir. Don't be soft. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. See what you're doing here. But I still plan on playing. still here yet. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond <laughs> the grave right now. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. Oh. You shouldn't have, really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me. Yeah. And earlier... That was a big boy. And... Never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and woke up 50 years later. Back to work then. Take care of me. I'll be in touch. Well, it wasn't so bad, was it? Too bad care's gone off. Guess he had somewhere to be. Badly. Probably writing a new song as we speak. <laughs> Isn't that what you wanted? To make him feel better? Better, but not that good. Johnny, don't ever leave me again. I can't live without you. <laughs> a little of that could go a long way. Hope that's it for last requests. Maybe. Now you get a chance to do what you will. Gotta go talk to Hanako. Fast. Okay. Your choice. Let's go. Time to untop. That was fun. I enjoyed that. I think the only thing it was missing was like a mini game during that. So just just hitting certain keys and stuff and then having the crowd react out and all that kind of stuff. I think that would have been so much more cooler there. So, you know, just hitting certain keys on the keyboard or controller, whatever. And then getting a little bit of streaks and the crowd going a little bit crazy and maybe stage diving and, and stuff. That would have been kind of cool. Uh, but we did just get a new bloody weapon. Um, obviously, the attack speed is a lot lower, but the damage is more superior. Reload speed is faster. Effective range is higher, but the weapon handling is lower. 200% headshot damage multiplier, plus 25% armor penetration, and 17% shock chance. Yes, please. I feel like we need to go and sell some weapons here and maybe check if, if we can finally get a new car. We got street credit 35. Now that is a weapon. Where's my vehicle? It's probably still bashed up, isn't it? So we need to look for an auto fixer. There's one just around the corner. And then where's the next drop off point? Literally the end of the road. So let's go and do to the drop-off point first. And then head to... Bye, uh, bad. To an auto-fixer. This one's only around the corner, isn't it? Literally here. Hello. Sell some things. I might have to nip my, to my apartment as well and store some stuff that I'm not using. Because it's just getting a little bit out of hand, especially with these uh, gold ones. Uh, assault rifle. Um, be gone. I could break these down into parts and use the use the parts, couldn't I? I could just if I didn't want the cash. But saying that, I do need the cash. I could do with the cash, cash, cash. 
But I could break them down and, like I said, get the components for them, then upgrade these weapons. Oh, uh, look at all these melee weapons I have. That's the two-handed club we got from um, Kerry, wasn't it? Was it Kerry? What is this? When did I get that jacket? I don't remember picking that up. I want to see what it looks like, though. Got all these components as well. Um, okay, let's sell them. Let's jump in here. What's this new outfit I've got? Well, that's that. What's this jacket I've got here? What's this? What is that? Looks like it's going to blow in the bloody wind. Nope. Oh, keep the glasses on. I do kind of like this samurai jacket, but hat-wise, I've not found a decent hat or anything yet. So we're going to keep them off for now. What shoes have I got on? Can I have some hot pants? Hell yeah. Nice. Right. Time to head to the auto fixer to see if we can get a new vehicle. What have we got? I'm after a Quadra, aren't I? So we can get this one, 52,000. But I am after more of this Type 66 down here. The Avenger. Technically, I might just buy this one and roll with this one. You know what? We just bought it. <laughs> and I will try and go for the Avenger. I might just try and collect all the Type 66s. Um, is it around here? I don't know if it automatically spawns because that's the... Oh, no, it won't, will it? Um, let's pull in the Gen Rowley. Where is she? She's over there. I feel like we need to name her. It is a nice vehicle, though, isn't it? Oh, it's got the cool doors. I've got an American flag on the blade top. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, mean girl. Hello. Oh, them sounds. That bloody evil can evil. Okay, so... Talking about revolution. Keep busy while waiting for Judy's call. Okay, so we're waiting for Judy. Dream on. Let's go and see the Perella ziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziz
a noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me of all people? Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. <laughs> Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. SSI is pretty small time. Why didn't you go with Arisaka or Militech? It's what was recommended to us. On the bright side, we're not dependent on any mega corporations. Why do these always sit in like a family portrait all the time? What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either. I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. What did the intruder look like? I've just asked that. I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Why did that repeat itself though? Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. That's a bug. Elizabeth didn't see him either. I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Said you passed Pedro, out. Yeah. That's right. Just after I fired. How'd you what get then? How'd you get knocked out? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. You're being very sus right now, I'm not gonna lie. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage, either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Security looking at this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? No clue yet. Anyone besides SSI come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He's my main rival, fighting for the same seat at the table. Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies. A lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V'll turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. You're being sus. I don't like you. Come on. You're in a penance of this you building. Around. Your security cameras are all up. 
You've got an elevator that comes up here. You've got no fire escape. Rather poke around my own way. You mind? No, of course not. I'll be right behind you, in case. So bloody dark. Have you got lights on here? Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? Bullet holes. Caulked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet. Probably. Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. <laughs> Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Oh, huh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. New campaign ads. You know what, Leah? I hate this commercial. I really do. A gun. Shooting a stack of legalization. It doesn't get cruder than this. What happened to the running a campaign based on dignity? On giving my voters the respect they deserve. From Leah. Jeff, with all due respect to you and your voters, these commercials are wedged between Watson Whore and Guns and Horses. Your commercials need to communicate with voters in a language they understand. Mercenary, Wallace, Chief of Security. Mr. Perales, your wife has informed me, my employees, that you intend to hire a mercenary in regard to the dubious circumstances surrounding Major Ryan's ulti ultimately death, untimely death. I understand you are concerned, but I can assure you it's the best to leave the matter to the police. Should you have any reservations as the police's integrity? Please, please consider and allow me to look into it. On behalf of my team, I can assure total and complete discretion. Uh, debates, important concern from Eric Boucher. Hey, Jefferson, uh, I'll need you to toss a glance at some of the key aspects of um, the program, in particular my suggestions concerning their anti-corporate stance. I feel like we haven't been on the same page for a certain uh, certain things recently. Jefferson responded, Eric, your tact tact tactfulness can sometimes be seriously annoying. Uh, Eric responded, as your chief advisor, I feel obliged to tell you this, Jeff. I know how important the public's perception of you is, but if you continue to antagonize the corpse, you'll be de depriving this campaign of sources and potential funding and leaving us vulnerable to attacks by much more powerful actors. Don't make matters worse, Jeff, please. Jeff responded, in a, it's a question of sincerity. Eric, uh, of stating true to one ideals, not uh, about pandering to the public. Besides, do you think I'm some kind of amateur? I know where the limits lie and the corpse wear it too. I know how the game is played. Set your mind at ease. Good night. Eric, fair enough. It's just that lately you've been acting like a little bit unpredictable. Don't get me wrong. I know it's a position that's taken us a long way. I'm just worried you'll cross the line at some point. Anyway, remember to get a good night's sleep. You'll need a clear head. What happened? Eric. Jeff, could you explain to me why Lee is still here? I thought we let her go. Did something change? Jeff responded, I don't follow. What are you talking about? Eric. Well, she's just here. Like nothing happened. She sent me a new ad today that apparently you approved. Am I going crazy or something? Jeff responded, Eric. 
What the hell are you on about? What to uh, who told you to fire her? Because it uh, definitely wasn't me. If you got something against her, then speak up. As far as I am concerned, Leah stays. Not like she was going anywhere to begin with. Pull yourself together, Eric. Eric's like, okay, I must be imagining things. Forgot I brought it up. Huh. Jefferson Prowlers for Mayor Commercial? No audio on this? Hmm. Oh, it's up on the bloody TV as well. Vote for Perales. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. Hey, John. Good to see you, man. Can't seem to scan this takeout. Hmm. What's in this room? Dad's campaign. From Elizabeth. So this is the daughter, right? Honey, I really appreciate how much you want to help. Oh, this is Elizabeth, the thingy. Uh, I really appreciate how much you want to help during your uh, academic break, but I think it's time for you to, if you were to stay, uh, no, everything here is under control. You should spend this time focusing on yourself. Take advantage of everything Europe has to offer. Love, mom. Zauchi. Is that how you pronounce the name? Zauchi or Chow? Chowchi? Uh, I get it. It's about me becoming a target if I get involved in the campaign. I heard Ryan died of a heart attack. I'm not a gunk. I know what and the Night City mayors have a habit of leaving their jobs in a coffin. It's fine. Don't worry. Just watch out for yourselves, all right? And do what your security tells you. Help with a private matter. Dear Miss Alvarez, I'm writing to you on behalf of Jeff. There is a sensitive matter for which we could really use your skills and expertise for full disclosure. I'm hoping that you'll return the favor... Uh, Jeff once did for the ma uh, for the max for the mocks. Can we count on you? Judy responded. I'm not sure if I can right now. Can I ask what this is about? Elizabeth responds. It's about a certain brain dance. I'll be honest. The matter is of highly delicate nature and discretion, as much as professional uh, analysis uh, is paramount for us. Time to also on the essence. So I'm hoping for a prompt reply. It goes without saying that you'll be well compensated for your trouble. Judy Alvarez. Believe me, if I could, but my hands are really tired at the moment. I know someone you can call Law. He's a merc, known quantity of the afterlife, does prime tier work. They call him V. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be weird wanted to reply. Thank you for ref referral. They're talking about me. Eric. Hey, Liz. Sorry to bother you, but did Jeff mention anything about why he changed his mind about firing Leah Patel? One day we're both in agreement that she has to go. The next day when I bring it up, he says he has no idea what I'm talking about. To be honest, this whole situation baffles me a bit. Elizabeth responds, don't worry about it, Jeff. Explained everything to me. The truth is that what you agreed on just slipped his mind. Plain and simple. Stress, I presume. In any case, certain, certain, certain circumstances have changed in favour of Leah remaining where she is. Please excuse Jeff and uh, let's all this police matter behind us. Understood. Thanks for clarifying. Okay. Nom, 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 nom. Wait, is there something else in this room? There is. Department of Law at Asukaga, Berkeley. Classy. You and Jeff graduate from the same school. Must have been expensive. We were lucky. On full scholarships, funded by the Knight Foundation. A charity founded by Richard Knight's widow. They helped a lot of underprivileged Wedding kids pick. with ambitions. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. <laughs> blue roses? What, you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot.
Discharged booster. Someone's been pulling all-nighters. Either of you use energy boosters? I don't. Not that I know of. Jeff, maybe? He works so hard. But it wouldn't be like him. He's always been against using any substances. Any? Nicotine's a substance. Jefferson has never smoked. Really? Could have sworn I've seen him smoking. Jeff? No, never. He doesn't go near the stuff. Hmm. Strange. There's something here, but I don't see it. Oh, it's gone now. Iron. This Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. This Jeff is an imposter? Could possibly be. That's what I'm kind of coming to. Something's going on. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. Why is this door concealed? Where? There's no door here. Scan is showing something different. Wait, you mean here? Right here, it's closed. Previous owners, leftover maybe? No. Open it. Somehow, please. I can't brute, brute forcefully open it, but... Maybe it's worth checking their office downstairs. Search the security room for a way to open the hidden door. The security room is downstairs, right? But there's something... How do I get to behind that wall? There's something else upstairs. Unless this, what I'm seeing now on the map, is... It's behind, isn't it? Okay, so maybe we'll check this thing that's upstairs. There's something else up here. Sure thing. views from up here. Bloody hell. Odd. Text practically prehistoric. But it doesn't look older than a day. I saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight. But it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Got a vision, the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. The hell is all this for, though? Fuck if I know, but my gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hooked up to. See these cables? Hmm. Hmm, is it lying down to it? I'll have to leave the building one or two and check that out down there. Oh, 
Right, so I need to go down the stairs to the security room. Which is in... No, that's the lift. Where's the security room? Is it behind this wall? So, this way... This bloody place is like a maze. In here. This was my den before the campaign. A place to focus, relax. Doesn't look it anymore. Security had to set up somewhere. You got the code? One of the many small sacrifices I've had to make. This was the first, but it won't be the last. What's the code? Do you have the code? Welcome on board. Welcome to the team and con congratulations on your newest assignment. You have no doubt already been informed about the work we do here, but I'd like to take a moment to remind you how vital our responsibilities are. Our priority is to protect our main targets due to their VIP status. They are able. Uh, they are to be considered in constant danger. Not only the most uh, obvious kinds, but also with regard to privacy and emotional stability. You are all required to immediately report any behavioural anomalies from the VIPs on and off site. Do not wait for your partner to do it. I think we'll all prefer slightly more paperwork over a, a full class six anomaly. Your security cl classification called orange, which grants you access to all areas, excluding sector zero. Sector Zero is an exclusively restricted to field agents tier blue and black. If you run into a blue or a black agent during the night, do not engage with them whatsoever unless you receive a direct order from me or from said field agent. Follow the above rules and will assure a further con a continuation of the operation and the security of our VIPs. That's from Wallace. We have an urgent situation on the main site. There was a behavioral anomaly during maintenance work. Some blue agent was injured by target Alpha. Alpha is secure, but blue 66M is in critical condition. I am requesting emergency access to sector zero in order to retrieve medical supplies. What? It looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in. I cannot grant remote access to sector zero, but the access code to the main room is 6709. You can remotely access uh, control access to the Sector Zero from this terminal. I've informed management of the situation and Black uh, Eklon rescue team is already on its way. 6709. 6709. 6709. Maintenance procedures. To all teams, we're coming up to our scheduled maintenance works. You know the drill. Only one necessary agent will remain on site. In the meantime, the security system will be switched off and scrubbed clean. Mercenary on site. This is from Wallace. To all teams, despite making my reservations known, Target Alpha has decided to contact a mercenary to look into political matter. Though Alpha's worries might be justified, an outsider, uh, an outsider on site raises serious concerns. If you encounter the mercenary in question, do not talk to them unless otherwise instructed. Regardless, carry on with your duties in accordance with a uh, standard procedure. Files. File deleted. File deleted. File deleted. Deleted. And deleted. Hmm. Local network. Let's open that door. Surveillance system, remote takeover. Uh, 
1C55. 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 Whoa, what the hell just happened then? What's in here? Oh, this takes us back to this. Ah, okay. There's still something at the top of this. Oh, this is the thing, isn't it? The, the machine is... Is this door open now? It is. What the hell is this? We're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. They violated our privacy. Sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Weird hardware. What's it for? Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this see terrorist everything. started stalking me. Ever noticed anything out of the ordinary? Suspicious. That they're violating our trust? Watching our every move? That they'd concealed a goddamn secret room full of spy stuff in our own apartment? So you didn't notice. Okay. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot! Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Smoking. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. Liz, this is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility, but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Secrets, Fine. secrets, and I'll more bloody secrets. I'm just wondering, um... I wonder if Jeff knows. But if he did know, would he have shot one of them? Let's head to that van and find out who it is. Is it private or is it government related? Or is it the opposing mayor trying to, who is working with the uh, security company from here? How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us this. Yep, I'm going to take my car, of course. It might burn off. Already thought about that, Batman. Oh, 
Oh, of course. We're about to find out. Don't lose them, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. They won't suspect a thing. Yeah, it's gonna be. It'll, I don't know if it's a, a machine gun on the front or it's the uh, transmitter. Taking us into port side. Connect to the van's access point. Veteran guard. Maniac. Fanatic. Wanted in Night City. Goon affiliation Maelstrom. Hmm. a trauma team on the roof as well. Trauma team cap. Come on, show yourself. <sighs> Take your club, huh? 
Is it the guy on the roof up here? That's shouting. Guy below me. I want to check these bodies though, because they've definitely got something. I don't think you damage you, do you? Would have been detected. Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity, some kind of database, brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What, what is going on? That? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Oh! You mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Is that why she's mm. getting headaches and- Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads. Modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. What the- Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. So they're taking over their minds to... for control. That's kind of cool. But weird, weirdly freaky. So maybe... Well, that event didn't happen, maybe. V, do you have any news? Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, it's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait. Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Ooh. Sending you the coordinates. I like ramen. Right. See you there. I like ramen. Speaking of Robin, I think that's what I'm going to have for lunch today.
Hello. Last time we was here, it was with uh, River, wasn't we? Because we was in looking for that woman. That vendor. Mate, how can I get through here? Oh, she's over here. Hey. Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Them glasses are really hiding who you are. It's a cozy little joint. Doesn't really match your style, though. But it's perfect for a one on one. Here we are, then. What is it? I. I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Relax. No need to rush. Ah, uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality, he seemed to be changing right in front of me, becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Rusty water from the town. Another murder outside your bedroom window. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself. After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. <laughs> don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. <laughs> Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. And? You cut some kind of deal with him? No. I was told that our perfect lives could fall apart at any minute. That I have my husband's safety to think about. After, there was no record of the call. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz. I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. You wanted everything just to go on and flow on because it was convenient. Convenient? You got the perfect life. A prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like living like this. 
just... What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... it destroy him. Damn it, Elizabeth. You gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. You truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats? It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing. But when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. That's if she turns up tomorrow. Goodbye, V. Or she's in a sudden car crash. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. No, this is different. You saw it yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds, individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next Remember year. Remember us been mind hikes? Even in my day, Not really. I saw a couple of faces. Of Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking. In layman's terms, gaslighting. The beauty is that everything's fair game. Subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters in your electric toothbrush. You name it. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Show you what will happen to this bill oh. if you, the people of Night City, choose me as your mayor. My name is Jefferson Perales, and I approve this message. All right, sorry. So, we're gonna go meet with Jefferson. Do we tell him or do we not tell him? That is the question. Do we or do we not? What's gonna be the benefit from either side which we don't know of? <laughs> do we go down with what she wants or? Don't bloody no. I do have a couple of things here, don't I? Weapons, shotguns, another revolver. I got a new hat. At least it's a decent hat and not just a... <laughs> but it still looks very chunky, doesn't it? It was very big for his head. It's like I've got a tiny face. MX, appreciate the uh, the light, man. Appreciate it, brother. Woo! 
doing 100% of the game. Not like 100, 100%, but like we are doing like the side quests, the side arcs, and the main campaign, yeah. Let's park up here and go and see Jefferson, who's, uh, oh, incoming phone call. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. Yeah. What? Whoa. We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Fuck. What the hell? They've got my mind as well. Alright, <laughs> oh, he's up here. Raven, thanks for the tier one for eight months. Hello, Hi, Jefferson. Team. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. What if it is Elizabeth that's doing it? What if she's a little mastermind behind this, trying to... <laughs> is everything all right? With oh, I'll tell him. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. Is some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up. Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a BD smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take for some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Militech International Army. You know there's a concealed room in your pad? Out with it. They've got tech in there you wouldn't believe. These people know everything about you and your wife. They're watching your every move. <sighs> Somebody's programming you and your wife. Sounds like something out of the movies. Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Banana for a while, you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs, even. How could I not have known about this? Your memories. Can't even trust those anymore. This is mad. This is mind bending. Oh, Andy's smoking. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him. Trust me, you never will. First, I'll find him. Then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Worst thing anyone can do to a person is strip them of their sense of self. 
I'd fight back too. They've made me a winner. <laughs> and they're gonna regret that. For now, I'll let them think they're pulling the strings. Good luck. My god. I have to tell Liz! Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point. Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She feared for your life, your daughter's life. Who could blame her? Nah. Well, she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. What do you get when you take steam and macaroni and drown it in Is there the anything else I can do? You've done enough already, V. All that's left to do is wait. So what now? You still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. Yeah, same with your eddies. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So... I wonder what's gonna thoughts? happen. Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. <laughs> Noise.